Hi, it's Steven at Victory Programming. In this video, we're going to talk about how to scan a threaded hole. We're looking at a callout of 3/8-24 UNF2B. Ideally, you'd measure the hole with true position locators, but often these aren't available. So instead, you can scan directly on the minor diameter. First, we'll create a circle on the cylinder and go into the strategy and we'll delete the default circle path and replace it with a helix path. We double click that to open it and then set an appropriate speed. A good rule of thumb is equal to the diameter of the hole or less. The step width or number of points typically you want to have 500 to 1000 points per revolution. So this is good for now. On a thread scan, it's good to have two rotations or more, so we'll set the rotations to two. And then we need to calculate the pitch of our thread. So with this thread spec, there's 24 threads per inch, which is equivalent to 0 0.0417 for our pitch. We enter it right here in the gradient. A side note, with metric threads, the pitch is given directly in the spec right after the nominal size. Now if I change my mind and I want three revolutions, I have to change the pitch again. So keep that in mind. For the rare threads that are left-handed, you'll have to uncheck the right checkbox. Now when you run this, if the probe doesn't scan directly on the crest of the minor diameter, but more in the valley, it won't make a significant difference in the position result. Things that tend to throw off the thread scan accuracy are debris and burrs. So it's a good habit to clean the holes before you measure them. Another thing to be aware of, if you have a position callout like this with a projected tolerance zone, you'll have to create a cylinder feature instead of a circle. Thank you for watching and check out victoryprogramming.com for more free resources.